Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. Uh, today we are headed to Ag Hall in Allentown, Pennsylvania for their super gigantic indoor yard sale. Uh, I've gone there before, I filmed there before. You guys have probably seen the videos if you've been following me for a while. <clears throat> so today I'm gonna basically get there as soon as they open. <laughs> I am super tired. Yesterday was very eventful. Um, I had estate sales in the morning. I bought out um, a huge lot of QVC inventory, um, mostly like unopened boxes of stuff. That will be in another series of videos. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little I'm a little tired today, but we are gonna go see what we can find at this super gigantic yard sale. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're in. Three for five, okay. Those are pretty cool. I don't know how much they are. How much are the Nikes? Uh, 45. 45? Oops. All right, I'm going to go back here. I'm starting back here. All right, let's see what we have over here. I really am at the back end of the sale. It's all Princess House. Pretty ladies, you can walk around the back too. Oh, okay. Are you the ladies that were coming out? No, we're not really here. Forty dollars for Jim Shore. Fifteen, thirty. All different prices. Mm. These tables always got some neat stuff, but they're a little pricey. Oh, I remember seeing that last time. just sold this one for $40, which I couldn't believe because I thought it was so creepy. I don't think I'm going to... These are super heavy, though. I'm not going to buy them. Oops. And craft items. Stationery. Three punches, so it's not a bad deal. My bag's already getting heavy. I got a couple things off camera. It's a Verizon tablet. All right, we're gonna keep moving on. It's a really cute tea set. That's cute too. Puss in Boots. Made in Germany for doll masters. Ooh. I kind of want to get that. I think I'm going to get this set. Would you take five on that set? Sure. Okay. I'm going to get that and keep looking around. These are cool. These are like, um, I think, liqueur bottles. Riesling wine bottles. I've sold those before, too. This gal. Yeah? In the bag. Perfect. This is cute. Um, <laughs> it's so cute. This is neat. 
Let's see there's, there's a brand on it. Oh, JJ. It's JJ Jonette. I think I might get that. That's kind of neat. I think this one might be marked Avon, maybe. Doesn't appear to be marked. Huh? That's cool. Yeah. I'm gonna get this. Okay. All right. Okay, you're gonna have to be. All right. I really like this booth. Usually, some neat things here. This looks like Lennox playing the violin. Oh, this is really cute. This looks like a doorstop. Oh no, it's a candle holder, like a luminary type thing. I just bought some more stuff, of, co of course, off camera, but um, I'll show you guys at the end during the haul. Um, but I picked up some of my favorite longer burger. Right. I'll throw it in the front. Thank you. These little gals. <laughs> it was really a this is cute. I might have seen this last time. I'm not sure. These might be like dollhouse furniture. Durham Industries. Like an old coal stove. Dollhouse furniture can do pretty well. A roll top desk. This brand doesn't seem to do that well. I don't think so. I think it's broken. An old little wash, wash basin. Hi. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My my bag is uh getting full. No, no. You're good. You're good. Department 56 General Store. Oh, that guy looks like he's glued. It's very interesting. $25. This is a really cool set. Such neat items at this booth. Oh, here we have more longer burger. I don't know how much that is. This one's ten dollars. I don't like to get the plain baskets, but this has a little flair to it. <laughs> it's still, still probably not gonna. Oh, this looks like Liz Tech. Fifty dollars. I would have gotten it if it was cheaper, but that's that's an eBay price for that one. Jar. Abby Press. And there's a uh, perpetual calendar. This looks like bake light. These are really cool too. These Chinese character glasses. $20 for the set. I need to go, go over to the other side and check this booth out. I might have to go empty my bag soon. It's getting large and kind of kind of hard to navigate. Corral 
wall over here. I don't know what this is. I wonder if that's maybe a candle holder? Some milk glass. I really do like those glasses. Some silver plates. Lots of branded, local branded uh, measuring sticks, yard sticks. That one's a yard stick and it expands. All right. I always like this. I always like this booth. A lot of Yankee candle stuff. Well, that's a longer burger uh, liners under here. If they're not in the bags, they're usually hard to tell what they are. Some newer ones are marked, but the older ones aren't. She usually has some interesting pottery here. Uh, I got a really nice Lennox vase here last time that sold for a couple hundred. <laughs> oh, you brought a cart? No, I think I'm going to soon because this bag is heavy. I like these fish plates. They're $180 for the set though. All right, I guess I'm not buying anything at this booth this time around. Here we have a bunch of Fenton art glass. Some really beautiful pieces, but more uh, more at a resale price. I like that basket. I like those jars too. And this is so pretty. This is $50. It's so pretty. And so is this. The bunnies? Yeah. She goes right there. The, late, the man and woman in gray? Oh, they're bunnies. Oh. And the over in the same? Okay, guys, so let's get into this super gigantic yard sale haul. Uh, I don't think I got as much as I did the last time I went, but I was a little tired <laughs> while I was browsing the merchandise today. So anyhow, let's get into it. I will show you what I got. So I thought this was a cool set. I picked this up kind of like right off the bat. Uh, and I did not film at every single booth. So super random, super random today. Anyway, this is a nesting set of canisters. Really cool print. Not sure of the company. Gonna have to do a little bit of research. It is like um, like a porcelain enamel paint on tin, something like that. I'm not sure how many canisters there are. The first couple lids are yellowed. Okay, there's three of them. This one is not, oh, they're called Made in USA, which is a good sign. A Tapco? Or maybe it's just Tapco. Let's see if the other one's marked. A Tapco. A-T-A-P-C-O. Made in USA. Okay. Well, hopefully you guys are worth something. I paid $10. $10. $10. All right, so then I did pick up this dress. I thought it was kind of neat. It was $5 and it was new with the tags. It is Eloqui, Eloqui, um, cross Katie, I don't know. I don't know who this Katie chick is. <laughs> I have no idea. Who is this? I don't know. Um, but anyway, I bought it. It was new with tags. It's, it's, it 
this is like sailor sailor vibes sailor moon vibes perhaps <laughs> see all the moons um so i don't know but it's there's also like a little piece to it uh where is it she's not sure she the, it's, the girl said she wasn't sure if it goes around your neck or like used as a belt oh here it is this little uh ribbon goes with it so we shall see i'll have to look this up i haven't looked any of this stuff up i'm going straight into the halls because boy oh boy do i have a lot of stuff to work through so i want i want to get these halls filmed this is the second one i'm filming today you have already seen the other one in my previous video and yes i am wearing the same thing because i'm still filming uh but i made a large purchase as i said in that video i made a large purchase yesterday and i'm going to be starting a series of videos on that and I got to get through this stuff first and yeah anyway <laughs> next moving on um this I thought was so cute and the lady just threw it in with my stuff it is uh Hallmark Bunnies by the Bay whoop-de-doo very cute I've actually sold the Bunnies by the Bay uh I got a whole like bulk of them with some other plush at a sale uh not last summer, the summer before. I can't remember if I've sold all the bunnies by the bay, but I had um, like a lot of jelly cat and just like a, like a big mixture. I bought it all and I've just been consistently selling them. Anyway, we'll see how she does. All right, then I paid a total of $65 for these other three pieces from the same vendor. Uh, she gave me a little bit of a discount on this stuff. This is pretty cool. This is Mary Englebright in the garden. Um, I guess we're going to call this new in the box, maybe, because it's got the box. Uh, it looks great. Yeah, and uh, this is a wall pocket. Bouquet cloth wall pocket is what it is called. And... One recently sold for $59.99 and it was used and didn't even have the box, I don't believe. Uh, so yeah, I should definitely be able to get 60 bucks for this plus shipping. Not too shabby as I like to say. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then... Also picked up two Longer Burger baskets. And it's funny because I actually just had a Longer Burger sale while I was filming my previous haul. And um, that was a yellow peep. I've been waiting for that to sell. I picked it up in, uh, I believe it was September at the one estate sale with all of the um, uh, Fiesta Wear. If you guys remember that video. Uh... I think all of my cool random baskets sold except for this one now. And now this one sold. It sold for $171. Uh, like an Easter peep. I'll pop the sale up on the screen. But super cool sale. So um, I like to keep my eye out for unusual longer burger baskets. Uh, this one here is like a peppermint twist basket it's called. And it's got, it's got everything. It's got the little um, tie on. It's got the liner and it has the coasters. So cool. I, I just, I could not pass that up. So this should bring about, I'm going to say $70 plus shipping. Super, super cool piece. And then also for that $65 total, I purchased this basket. Uh, this is this is the small fall gourd basket. And I really like this one. It's got the liner and everything and the lid. I really like this one. Um, I don't think it's going to sell as much. I think this is going to be maybe like a $50 basket. But it's very nice. Even if I have to like hold on um, for a higher price until the fall, I really do like this basket. Um, very, very nice. Very, very nice. And I've never seen this particular one before. I think I, I have seen the peppermint. 
Um, but yeah. Oh, geez. Always, oh, always oh, dropping something. I'm put these back in there. Random bags until I have a moment to get them listed, which I definitely need to start doing some crazy listing soon. Um, but yes, we will get to that. Like I said, I want to get these hauls out of the way. Okay, so then this one, this one we're going to see if it survived. Uh, I think this is the one. I purchased this when I first walked in from one of my friends, um, one of my local, local reseller friends, Jess. Uh, and I totally forgot I had it in the bag. Bag probably got slammed around a little bit. We'll see if it made it out alive. So I paid five bucks for this little guy. It is, I don't even know the brand of this. It looks like it says iRice. iRice import? Irving, Irving Rice. Ah, never heard of Irving Rice. But now I have, I don't think that's broken. I don't know, but this girl, uh, this girl was five bucks. She's a little angel. She's cute. And she did not break in transit, which is good. Never sold any um, Irving Rice pieces before. So we shall see. Um, I'll try to, if I can find comps, I'll throw it up on the screen. I should have done a little research before this haul, but I didn't. I did not. Have you guys ever sold Irving Rice? Let me know. Drop it in the comments. Okay. This I just thought was super cute. Something nice. Uh, oh, it was sold for like $29 in 1998. I hate when they put the prices on the actual packaging. Like, I want to have the opportunity to peel that off if I want, you know? But anyhow, this is super cute. Oh, that's, that's actual, like, little napkin. So, this set was seven. I asked her if she would take five. She said, yes. This is so cute. All right, so, back, back to this. My, my daughter uh, FaceTimed me, so I had to take a little break. Um, anyway... This is very cute. Got it for five dollars. Uh, it's a little, little tea set with the little napkins. All the little napkins are like sewn onto this. Um, I guess it could be like a little tablecloth. And it also comes. She put all of the little, like forks and spoons and and little books and stuff in this bag. So I thought that was a really, really cute set. All right, and then I got this little brooch pin. It is uh, marked JJ, which is JJ Jonette. And it is just so cute. It's like a gold tone kitty cat uh, sticking its hand into its hand, sticking its paw. I'm trying to get it like close so I don't poke myself. Uh, putting its little paw in in the fish bowl. I think that is just so cute. So this should be worth about $19 plus shipping. That is adorable. All right. And then last but not least, I got two puzzles. This, this now is indeed, uh, this is indeed a giraffe. Uh, in my previous video, <laughs> I was calling some other kind of an animal a giraffe and it was definitely not a giraffe. Anyway, <laughs> This is definitely a giraffe. This is cool too. This is a really cool, uh, really cool puzzle. So one buck, can't beat it. Can't beat it. Can't, can't beat a sealed puzzle for a dollar. And this is Euro Graphics Travel USA Vintage Posters. Also a dollar. So that's it. Not a super crazy haul, but it was a lot of fun. Um, so that is going to wrap it up. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.